Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elm Creek in Farming Simulator 22 in my alternate Let's Play series with me Siwani. As you can see I've done a bit of work off camera. I've put in a uh, a vehicle shed. Um, I've even kind of smoothed and altered this ground a little bit for try and make it fit in um it's not perfect up here where our vehicle repair thing is but hey ho looks like i need to paint some grass i must have forgot that I want it to look nice, don't we? Obviously clearly had another bit of a go at this after the last video to try and sort it out. I think everyone will be happier. I still haven't done anything really with this area. We'll sort that out when we get round to it. Yeah, I, what I ended up doing, I just basically ended up just raising the ground. So the ground now has actually gone. The, the, the ground is actually above the road. The road is actually buried underneath this. So I've kind of made my own gravel system. The, the road kind of stops down here now. <laughs> um, but that is what it is. Now, we are in June, um, here on the map. Uh, do have the option to... Still got my... Um, uh, auto drivey stuff open. Turn that off. I, I have been recording a few more little courses ready to try and assist me with you know the whole automated sale thing what we're going to do firstly today we're going to get rid of the honey a lot of honey a lot of bee juice Twelve thousand liters of bee juice baby And then we will uh, come and get our vegetables all nicely produced and sitting outside the front of the shop uh, the greenhouses and we'll take those down to the restaurant so they can be used to serve our, our, our fantastic customers and then um, it is June, so I'm actually able to cut the grass again. Um, so we may do some more grass mowing. Some more grass mowing shenanigans. Or, may actually start to buy some sheep. <laughs> um, I don't have any currently, do we? I was kind of hoping that I would have skipped far enough into the future that I would have actually had crops to um, crops to harvest. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm that lucky. I need tomatoes and strawberries coming in. Drive round again. These trailers do not reverse very well. Sorry, dog, I've run you over. So it's amazing how when you've actually got somewhere to sell your 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's sliding. That is sliding. Sliding, sliding. Right, we'll take our produce, our tomatoes, our lettuces, and our straws. Throw those at the uh, greenhouse over here. Then I guess we're going to be grass mowing then, folks. I, I don't see really anything else. I haven't really looked at the contract situation, I'll be honest. In this series, I'm not that fussed about doing contracts as much as I am on How Baileron. Because I'm only playing one day per month, and I'm not playing with seasonal seasons turned on, I can just, if there's nothing for me to do, I can just skip ahead. And that seems to be working so much better for me. But certainly, these auto load trailers that are available for us PC guys, they're definitely making productions a little bit more um, approachable, shall we say? I'm, 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 I'm more, in, more likely now to actually want to use the production chains and stuff because I can actually transport the products <laughs> a lot easier. I can't believe Giants have failed to give us an, a pallet loading system in the game. An auto load system of some, some manner or measure. Right. So yeah, I've got, I've got a lovely little vehicle shed. Oh, placed. Fantastic. Um... I'm on it, thinking about putting another one up here, another equipment shed up on this top part. Um, or what I might do, it's probably looking more likely. Paint that, and then uh, we put the grass back in. They give me some flowers anyway. Uh, of course, now I do need this on <laughs> because we're going to need to delete that. Be a thing. That or that. Might do a link to there. Maybe just look at moving that a bit more. And what I'm thinking of doing then is putting in a... Maybe put my...
put my repair point in up here. That might be the better option. We could do with maybe a, a buying point for fuel. Well, maybe. Yeah, let's place. Place that there. Placing our pressure washer. Maybe diesel on the corner. Do I have to manually fill these up, or are these already? Um, is that just auto loaded with stuff? That is auto filled with stuff. Magic. Right. What we can do there. We can record a little bit of a. I do. Our. Um... to make sure we hit this one too. Hit that. Now how can I make that a two-way? two-way road I don't know, maybe I just need to... Bend that in myself a little bit more. been just making loads of new points. I think I'm just going to have to do it manually. 
That doesn't appear to be fine for me to do it how I want to do it. Bend that into a bit of a curve. Get that all too white. What we're going to need. That point there. Is going to become. Repair. And I think. That point there can become refuel. Let's so. Or work this out. Whoa! Right. This does need to be. But. Weirdly, that's... I think it's um it's it's kind of trying to snap to the road even though the road technically isn't there anymore obviously auto drives trying to snap to the road network which is underneath all this gravel Yeah, it's not really handled. The, the, the transition gracefully has it there between the different um, heights. But we'll fix that. that that's, that's fine. Oh, right. As I was saying, we can do mowing today. Um, so we're probably going to need our 7R. do hay bales so I'm put the 6R on the tether start it seven R is Gonna have to knock the front weight off. No?
that can live there for the moment. Spin around, spin around. No, oh, spin around. Um, it is June. When do I need to sell my soybeans? Is it July? Right, what we're going to do. Da, 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 da. Going to. Generate field port. Close that. Right. I think. Okay, he's folding everything up again like a champ. Do you like what I've done to the grass as well? Um, you may have noticed this on my Hout Baylor on videos, possibly, depending on when they release alongside these. Compared to like the grass around around the edge of the field, my actual planted grass, the grass that I'm actually proper growing and stuff, is much longer now. Um, I found where in the game in the game files where you can change the length of the um, the proper grass, the 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 seeded grass. So I've actually made the seeded grass much longer in length than the 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 meadow grass, the 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 rubbish grass as i call it so there's a, a much clearer difference between what has been planted and seeded and what is just wild natural sort of grass um as a result um there is no there is no yield bonus it's purely a visual thing so we don't get any extra grass by doing this um it it just helps you to see the grass fields a lot easier and see where when the grass needs mowing because it grows a lot longer visually it grows a lot longer so yeah i'm really really happy with that now seeing as we are mowing the grass need some sheeps eat the grass i've got 108 grand in it Itty. Let's go get some sheeps. Let's go get some sheeps. What sheeps do we want? I want the little I want the little black face sheeps. They're a lot more expensive apparently. Um 50 of them little black faced fellas. Cost me 20 grand. I'm not going to bother with brown wool. We're going to have some Welsh mountain though. Spend 20 grand on, 26 grand on some of those as well. That leaves me with 54 grand in the, the account. Now, I appreciate the fact you don't have any food sheeps. So, 
Here's some lovely hay bales that I brought you earlier. Please enjoy more lovely hay. Oh, cheats. It really does start to look like diddly squat farm now. However, um, if you've been following the news, poor old Jeremy had his planning permission application rejected for his, um, he wanted to convert his um his sheep farm where he did his lambing. If you watch the first season of Clarkson's Farm on Amazon Prime, the shed where he did his lambing and stuff next to the farm shop, that's been kind of stood empty because he's not done sheep. He's not been he's not he's not bothered to do with any sheep this year. So what he wanted to do, he wanted to convert the shed that he had his lambs and sheep in into a, a restaurant. And um yeah, the council rejected it. A lot of the locals in the village complained about the planning. And unfortunately, poor old Jeremy's plans to expand his shop and and, and build it and, and, and convert the shed into a restaurant have unfortunately been rejected. So he can't. Uh, I, think, I don't think he's a very happy bunny about it from all accounts. Because says you know at the end of the day he was going to be creating jobs in the village for people working in the restaurant he was also going to be bringing obviously a lot of outsiders visitors to the village from outside that would also be visiting other local businesses and spending money so he, he was going to be bringing in more economy to the local area but the um the 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 snobby little um villagers who apparently like living in the land before time um don't want to um don't want to break into the don't want to come into the real world <laughs> they don't like the outside world venturing into their little village they're a they're a strange bunch of people down that way apparently very strange bunch of people and um yeah it's a it's a bit it's a tough one really for poor old clarkson because like i say he's trying to do the right thing with his farming and you know he's bringing a lot of attention to farming he's also then obviously trying to run a a, a successful business as well um and having the uh the the the, the locals the little the backwards people from his village keep jumping in and um objecting to everything he wants to do is probably getting quite annoying for him <laughs> okay i can see some issues This guy's not mowed the grass quite properly, has he? Couple of bits I'm going to have to come and finish off then. I'm guessing it's in the turns, it's in the turns where he's missing bits, where it's all articulating and the mowing unit on the front is um, missing bits. But what I'll do is I'll run over this bit again. Uh, what I can't remember, my mowing units are uh, 12.3 meters, my tether is 17 meters and my windrower is 14.7 right i've got a plan 
when this guy's finished I'm going to have him do the tedding using the same course he's already got programmed into his memory banks I'm just going to uh, pull out these these areas where he's missed. He actually missed quite a lot more than I expected him. We can correct that. All the way down here. Mow that a little bit. Ultimately, this field is a nice little stop gap. It's not going to be perfect if we wanted to do cows or, you know, animals on a large scale. Because it's just not big enough. This field isn't. Um... Right, that's the uh, mowing part of the exercise done and accomplished. Let's uh, put this back. Oh, wrong, disconnect the front one first, bad idea. Right, let's get out of the way of the... T let's put... yeah, I'm going to do a bit of an equipment shuffle here. Because, like I say, the 7R is going to be doing heading. Right, he's going to go do the job of um, tedding. Here's some more hay bales, friend. Now, he shouldn't miss as many bits this time. obviously he's much wider <laughs> we're going to need to get the roller ready or after we've done all the collecting where did I 
Put the bang on. Is the next important question. Yeah, you're not going to be doing the wind rowing. We're going to let the guy with the course play course handle the wind rowing. Um, Get us more bales. I love the fact I've got sheeps. A screenshot of the sheeps for the video thumbnail. Bear yourselves. Hopefully, we'll start getting some wool out of them. That'd be nice. Now, the only thing we I notice is we don't have to buy a Leonardo or a Wayne. Handle the the reproduction side of things. Sheeps must take care of that themselves. But obviously in Clarkson's farm, he had to get himself a Wayne and a Leonardo. Do the um the the baby sheep making. Doing a great job. Doing a fantastic job of producing my hay. just missed a bit though he has just missed one bit there a bit of a sharp turn i think in that top corner so i'm gonna have to go and uh, manually sort that out meanwhile i'm gonna have a couple of spoonfuls of this lovely chocolate pudding i've got in a dish on the desk in front of me lovely creamy chocolate pud with some chocolate custard. Very nice. Yeah, it really hasn't handled that corner of the field very well, has it?
I've also missed some bits down this side of the field, look. I we'll just need to manually do a little bit in this top corner once it's finished. I also missed some mowing again, look. Mm. I've got some grass just outside the field boundary there. Maybe left over from last time. Can't do anything about that grass that's outside the um, the actual boundary of the field, fortunately. Right, let's do some manual fixage. just need to drive down here a little bit I wonder if it fails on this bit because it's not exactly the flattest and most levelest bit of the field anyway that's the tedding done I'm going to get the wind rower. Let him have a run. However, we're going to do him a bit different. We are going to clear this course for a start. And we're going to create a new one.
Start the job. He's going to be doing his windrows in a much different direction than what I would have done it. <laughs> Pretty good so far. He's going to carry on and get this done. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to leave the video here, folks. When we come back next time, obviously we'll have the baling to do. We'll have the bales to collect. We'll then probably skip ahead to July and get the soybeans sold and see if anything is ready for harvesting. So thank you all for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've clicked that like button for me. I hope you've left your comments, questions, suggestions, feedback in the comments section down below. I hope you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already doing so. And I hope you've enabled your notification bell. I also hope if you have enjoyed this content that you've shared it with everyone you can everywhere you can i've been see wally this has been elm creek and i will see you all in the next episode very soon take care of yourselves stay safe goodbye for now <laughs>